All right, here's a quick screencast on the photo gallery um, and how to add images to an existing gallery as well as create a new gallery. Uh, first, a little terminology. Um, on the photo gallery page, um, th all of these, each of these thumbnails, these are each a gallery. So each of these thumbnails and this is the title of each gallery. Um, all of the galleries are within one album. This will be useful later on, uh, just as a terminology thing, once we get into actually adding galleries and adding photos to galleries. Now let's go back to our, um, our administration area, which is under the slash WP slash WP dash admin. This is um, where we um, edit anything in the website. Now on the left hand menu all the way down at the bottom is the gallery button. We click on that once and it brings us to our little uh, dashboard of our gallery uh, program. Uh, once we scroll back down here all of the sub menu items under the gallery are this is what we're going to be concentrating on. Um, mainly uh, the add gallery slash images, the manage gallery, and the album. Those are the main ones that um, you'll need to create and to add images. So first off, let's add a gallery. We're going to add a gallery called test gallery. And we hit, just type in the title. And the title that we're adding here is actually going to be what is shown underneath the gallery. Um, on the, the gallery thumbnail as well as um, on that gallery page. So that should be a descriptive term of that uh, photo album. So now we hit the add gallery and now it has added that gallery. Now we have to actually add images to it. Now there's a couple ways to add images. Um, I'm going to go through uh, two of them. One, the upload images. Now this one is a little bit tedious because you have to upload each of them individually. You can, up, you can actually, you have to go through this process both um, through each, each photo. So let's go, I'll bring this window in within here. Now if we say, all right, I'm gonna select this one. You can actually keep browsing and add a bunch of them, but you have to go through this for each image. Um, which is not too terribly uh, tedious, but um, is tedious nonetheless. So, and then once we do that, then we select the test gallery, because that's the gallery that we are going to be adding this to. Um, and then we hit upload images. Now it's going to upload each of those individually and um, add those to that gallery, which we have labeled uh, test gallery. Uh, and then it just drops us back to this um, upload images area. There's also another way if we, um, for example, we have all these images and let's say we grab a bunch of them and then create a, uh, a zip file from them. Um, on, a, on a Mac it's just a matter of right clicking on it to compress them into a zip file. On a, on a Windows computer I think you might need to use an additional program something like WinZip or WinRAR or just um, Google uh, zip file uh, program basically. And I'm just going to say um, uh, uh, the, the title of this zip file is not important um, because that's just using it as, as a vehicle to upload multiple images at one time. So now if I go back to the admin area and I go select a zip file and I navigate to that uh, that zip file that I have and I've got I've got a couple of them in here I'll just use this test photos alright and I'm gonna again select the gallery the test gallery and I'm gonna start the upload now it is uploading that file and then it'll give me a basically a, a status of I'm un unzipping the, the file and then it says, okay, it's unpacked. So now the photos are there and they're in the gallery. So now if we go and click on the left hand side, the manage gallery link. Uh, the, the gallery that we just created will be at the end of this list. So here's the test gallery, you click it once 
and it brings me to that gallery page. Um, and here we can see all the images that I've uploaded. I uploaded one twice, but whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, and here it allows us to change the titles of each of these and even add a description if need be. Um, we can also edit the thumbnails uh, by hovering over this link here and clicking on this edit thumb link. It gives us this uh, editing screen. So now we can actually we get these um, crosshairs. So on the image on the left, click and drag a box around wherever you want the thumbnail to be and you can move it around and on the right hand side it'll show us a preview of what it's going to look like. We hit, Once we're satisfied with that we hit the update button it will tell us the thumbnail was updated and then hit click this little X and close that out. Um, and then we'll just save these changes. Uh, we can also change uh, the preview image. This will be the one that um, shows up on that uh, image gallery page. So we'll hit save changes again and there's that. So now there is um, our album or our gallery, excuse me. Now we need to add it to the album in order for it to show up on the page. Now, like I said, all of those galleries are in one album. This is where that's going to come into play. Uh, once we click on that album uh, link on the left hand menu, it gives us a chance to edit the albums. Uh, now we only have one album, it's called Photos, so we select that album by this drop down menu and now on the left hand side it shows us these are all the galleries that are within the album of photos. And here are our galleries that have not been added. So I just created this test gallery. I'm going to click and drag it over to the left hand side. Now it allows me to put it anywhere in here and this is basically just changing the order of everything. So I'm going to put it at the top and it's going to, so it's going to show up before all of the other albums. Now once I hit update and I go back to my photo gallery on the display side here and I hit refresh there is my test gallery and all added to the website and that's it.